Hello and welcome to today's Safety Sense and More video. On this episode, I'm going to discuss uh, ladder safety, what that means to you, how you should be inspecting the ladders before you use them uh -huh. daily. So right now I have two ladder systems set up and a bench set up. Um, the first thing I want to go over is the ladder ratings. So I, the one double A's are rated for 375 pound weight capacity. And you learn that by looking at the labels on the ladders. So one of the biggest things about ladder safety is all ladders should have every single label on it. And if they're missing labels, th that ladder is no good. You should not be using it. And you guys need to contact the safety department. Uh, the foremans need to and let us know. And we need to get those ladders, uh, stickers for the ladders. If they do not use them, if you do not have them, you cannot use them. Um, so this is a 1AA 375. This is um, a one 1A, just a 1A, and this is rated for 300 capacity, uh, weight capacity. So again, the stickers are on this one. These ladders look to be in good shape. Um, they have stickers on both sides. You wanna make sure, and the stickers are both in English and Spanish, so anybody could understand them. Um, this one's a platform ladder. You wanna make sure the platform and everything is level and set when you go to use these. So you wanna inspect that you're, you're bracing on both the ladder, the platform ladder and the regular ladder like this isn't pinched like that when you walk the ladder. You wanna make sure it's down and the feet are square to the ground. Also, you wanna check and inspect each rung and make sure there's no dents, divots, uh, any loose rivets. Uh, these support braces, you wanna make sure those aren't broken. And you want to inspect them every time before each day before you uh, use it. Uh, you don't know what could have happened the day before if you weren't there that day. So you just want to make sure you're inspecting these air before you use them every day. So this ladder over here, this is a perfect example of this is not a good ladder. Like, and which is why it's at the shop. Um, we pulled it. Doesn't it, it? Obviously, it's sun faded. Uh, it's missing stickers. These sometimes, if these feel too loose, they're not good. So again, it's missing all warning labels on it. So we use this as an example of, of a ladder that should not be in use on a job site. Um, a lot of times you'll see these rungs bent too. That we, we can't use them if they're bent. And I, I just, you want to take care of your ladders. You want to make sure that it's not getting dinged. You're, and you're, another thing is you want to make sure other trades are not using our stuff, our equipment, our ladders, our parries, our scaffolding. We, because iron worker, like it's, I've, I've had it in my experiences where I've let an iron worker use uh, one of my ladders and he it came back totally tacoed. So we don't want other trades using our stuff. It's it. So next thing is drywall benches. We use these a lot in the field, obviously. Uh, we want to make sure before, uh, obviously you want to inspect it, make sure that uh, these are all the way open. Uh, I've been on job sites where guys thought they was all the way open and it wasn't. They stepped on it with the sheetrock and they ended up falling and it collapsing. Same thing with the drywall benches, the wallboard benches. If you don't make sure the legs are totally locked, I've actually gone up on a, on one where it was, uh, I went to hang a sheetrock and it collapsed and I was surfing that thing down. Uh, and that's, I even inspected it and everything. But what happened was this, one of these was weak on the original drywall board and it caused me to fall. So we just, we want to inspect our stuff. Another thing is inspect your bolts here. Make sure these are tight, especially on these ones, because these ones do come undone. And once this comes undone, this whole part, pulls apart and you're gonna hurt yourself. So obviously we, we want you to think safe and do these safety inspections on these equipments. So you guys could go home safely to your families. Um, there are some jobs where ladders are not allowed, like Turner jobs specifically. So sometimes they will allow platform ladders. So we 
brought in platform ladders in those instances. And then lastly, I don't have an uh, extension ladder uh, set up right now because I had nothing to extend it to. Uh, but so extension ladders, we want to make sure that it is cleated on the ground and secured and that it the it's four to one ratio. All ladders, you want to always do four to one ratio. Uh, from foot to hand, you should be holding the ladder out in front of you, and it, it, that's how that's the angle you would be. And then um, you want to make sure that it passes the the top of the framing or the roof line or what wherever you're going up to, uh, three feet past, and you want to have it tied back to the structure to be safe. And on top of that, we also have ladder safety instructions in our SSSPs. And obviously, me and Paul are here to help you guys. So if you have, to have any questions about any of the equipment that we have, we're here to guide you in that and because uh, we want you guys to go home safely. So other than that, that covers my quick tutorial, I guess, uh, for ladder safety. I hope you guys will be safe out there and uh, listen to some of this instruction and please inspect your equipment while you're out there and make sure it's safe to use. So until next time, guys, thank you for watching this video.